This is my mobile kitchen. It is literally a fast food restaurant on wheels. Um, it's a Luma, a Luma line, all American Luma line. And it was all custom done. Um, we designed it, we built it from scratch. Um, underneath here, we have a battery. We have the, the jacks that go up and down. We have a propane tank for the water heater. And we have a hookup under here for a line for water that all goes into the trailer. It's 100% fully self-contained. It is got a state sticker on it that um, is very important. It has a fire suppression system on it. What is this here for? Is this for electrical? That's for the electrical Outlet. hookup. Yeah. That's for all of the power to go into the trailer. Um, if you have an two, outside source. Two, when you have an outside source, there's two 50 amp breakers that go into it. Um, as you come down the trailer, this is where all of the soda dispenser stuff is. We have a built-on soda dispenser that I'll show you in a minute. Um, everything's all plumbed into the trailer. We have a filter system on the water, so everything comes out perfect. Here's the CO2 system for the soda. Everything's ready to go. What's up there? What is that? Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. That's okay. a freezer from the inside. Okay. Then you come down on the front and there's two bins and they're all lined coolers for water, soda, um, Gatorade, whatever you'd like to store in here. Mm -hmm. um, then you come down and we have a hot chocolate machine, a built-in coffee machine, Here's the soda dispenser. Um, we have an iced tea machine. Shaved ice is just here because we normally take shaved ice wherever we go. Um, we have a, a, a hot cheese and, and uh, chili machine. And then there's a, a hand wash sink out here for all your front, for your front people with a soap dispenser and a and, um, paper towel dispenser. Okay. If you come to the back, as you look inside the trailer, it's all stainless steel. It's all NSF approved. It has a lot of storage on it, a three-hole sink. Um, it has a six-foot sandwich table. It has two three-foot grills, which makes six foot of uh, flat grill space. You have a four-foot broiler. Racks above the um, are for all your breads when you're on location, which is a great storage area. Um, and these are the grills here. That's grills. That's two, two three, or three feet. Two three foot grills. You have a four foot broiler. You have three deep fryers. You have a deep uh, a French fry warmer. Then up on the um, on the counter you have a freezer. And then you have, uh, on, on the next rack over, you have another freezer. So we have two freezers? We have two freezers, a six-foot sandwich table, so you have a lot of refrigeration. You have another sink down over here? And we have another hand wash sink along with the three-hole And this is the sink. order wheel? We have a window that goes in for orders and out for... Delivery. For delivery. And we have all the... Cup hole dispenser. We have, we have a lot of storage. If you look up on top, that's where we keep all of our paper products. There's storage up above the sink for all your pans. Okay, and uh, let's go back to the front so we can get a better look at the front of it. Now, what pulls this? How do you, can you pull this trailer? What, what is required? How much does it weigh and what's required? What kind of truck is required to pull it? I'm not sure what it, it, you'd probably have to have a 450 or 550 trailer and it's a... So something similar to this. Fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah. it's a fifth wheel pull. You'd usually pull it with a semi or a dually, um, like a Dodge Cummins dually would pull it. Um, but it would have to be probably a 450 or a 550. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go back to the front here real quick so we can give them a better view of the front part. So what do we have here? When we're traveling, we carry everything inside. Okay. 
<clears throat> here's all your free foot fryers. They're imperial. You have a, a french fry warmer. You have a microwave oven. And all that is storage? All of that up top is storage. And this is where the breakers are? That's where all your breaker panels are. You have a swamp cooler. Um, and like I said, on the outside of the trailer is where you hook in the water for all of the water. And that's a that's a four, five foot freezer? or That's a four, four, foot, free, four foot freezer. No, five foot freezer and then another... Um, NSF freezer, which is a an Everest double door. Okay. All right. So it just has a lot of stuff in here. It so has, these. It has a 17 foot grill hood. It's got all the fire fire suppression. It has NSF sticker on it. So this is all regulation. Correct. As far as the health department. Correct. Okay. It also has um, a State of California Department of Housing and Community Development sticker on it. HUD, okay. So it's got the HUD sticker, which it's is very important. The emergency fire system yep. here. It has a fire suppression system. Everything is 100% self, fully self-contained. This is where the hot water heater is. Um, as I was saying earlier, the, um, the propane hookup for that is right under here under the trailer. If you walk down the back side of the trailer, there's a hookup underneath here that you hook in the propane. So when you're on the road, you can unhook the propane and take the propane tank bottles off. But then you have a connection in here that just screws right in there and you, you run the lines and hook up the propane right to it. These doors we had built um, so you can actually get into the back side of all of the equipment. So if there's anything that ever needs to be repaired or maintained in the back then you can have easy access and you can clean too right and you can clean underneath it and the same thing here can you lift each one up please so they can see what do you have same thing here it all goes to the back you can get to the um all of the propane lines very easy access okay same thing here same thing here okay all right And here, and same here, thing. That's, it, that's the same thing. This is just the back side of the flat grills. Okay. Um, right under here is where your water plums in. Mm -hmm. And you have a, an outlet. Underneath the trailer, you have all your holding tanks. I think you have a 150 gallon um, gray water tank. And we have three wheels on each side for the axle? It's all triple axle. Triple axle, okay. And it weighs 25,000 pounds, you said? 25,000 pounds. Okay. There's also drains, so when you want to pull the plugs and, and go and drain your your tanks, then you have easy access to that. And up here are the blowers? That is the um, the blowers for the, su the suppression system for the fans on the grill hood. Okay. We also double as a, as a mini rocket. <laughs> this trailer is great for catering, for mobile food concessions, just about anything that um, company picnics, parties. If you were to replace this today, it would cost about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's twenty five hundred pounds or twenty five thousand pounds fully loaded, so you'd need a vehicle to pull it that would pull that that weight. 25,000 pounds. 25,000 And it cost, to replace this, it will cost you, you said, over a quarter million dollars today? Over a quarter million dollars. And that's it. with the equipment and everything? That's with equipment ready to so go. So everything in here is inclusive, pretty much? Everything is included. Um, it's ready to go. And you have 50% uh, off? Is that what you're offering? We have 50% off, which is a great deal. Okay. Anything else? That's it.